Good morning, good morning guys. I'm Elle, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am filming my favorite video to film why am I crooked? Because I suck at YouTube. I'm filming my closet cleaning, decluttering, reorganizing for the season video. That's not what I'll call it for sure, but you, you know what I mean. I'm just feeling the itch to switch it over. Do I have any business doing that? Great question. It is two degrees outside and currently snowing. So some might argue, no, it's too soon. Uh, those people are crazy. I am just internally feeling the itch. Like I want to switch stuff over. Obviously I'm not putting like summer dresses in there. The like really heavy wintery stuff I feel like needs to go. And I feel like there are some stuff from spring that I can bring in to kind of like have a transitional sort of thing. Um, and in, in Canada, Toronto area where I live, Spring can be really tricky because it can very easily be like five, six degrees when you leave your house in the morning and 12 degrees when you get back or midday. It can change a lot. I'm gonna do a nice declutter and organize as well. And I'm also gonna be trying stuff on. You guys can kind of get a sense of what's in my wardrobe. Um, I will have links to things down below. And together we will just have a grand old time. Right now it's very messy. I'm not loving how it looks, but that's also just because I knew that I was filming this video. And so I just kind of let it get awry. Let's get into it. It never fails to amaze me every year. <laughs> how much clothes you really have when you remove them all from your wardrobe. If you think you don't have enough clothes, just take everything out of your closet. It'll change your opinion. So I'm gonna go through um, all of my winter stuff and stuff that I think can still be used in spring or can be bridged on the days when it's extra cold, I'm gonna keep. Uh, what will remain is gonna be all my winter stuff that then will get packed into my uh, trunk that I keep in my closet for my off season clothes. I've mentioned it in my other closet videos, but in case you're new here, one of my favorite things about doing a seasonal wardrobe is that it keeps the spending down. Instead of getting sick of your clothes and feeling like you always need to buy new stuff, every season, it's almost like you get a new wardrobe. You kind of forget what you have. You get to wear things you haven't worn in a while. So it feels new again. Um, having said that, I did buy a few pieces for spring, but, but in general, it keeps at least my spending way down. It also makes it easier to get dressed in the morning because you don't get so overwhelmed by um, too much choice. Knowing that everything that's in here fits me and works for this season helps me uh, pick cuter outfits and spend less time feeling stressed in my closet. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort. All right, we've got stuff we're retiring for the season, including the sweater that I'm wearing. So I'll, I'll add this at the end when I'm done filming. Stuff that I wanna try on because I'm not sure. Stuff that I know for sure can transition. Sweaters that I know for sure can transition. Ones that I'm not sure about and need to try. So I went ahead and pulled out all my spring stuff. So now I'm gonna add this in and kind of see where we're at. All right, all right, all right. This is where we're at when I've combined things and put them into categories. This is like pants and overalls, jeans, skirts, dresses, zip up, kind of over, like button down um, that you put over t-shirts, sweatshirts, t-shirts, cardigans. So it, there's too much for me. I don't think you can pick a like one number that is right for everyone. For my kids, I always do one week's worth of clothing. So they have seven shirts, seven pants, or seven shirts, seven shorts. Um, and then they have a couple sweatshirts. Um, and that makes it super easy for my kids. My kids don't care about expressing themselves with fashion as much as I do. So I do have more than that. Um, and if that ever, if those needs ever change, we'll evaluate it at that point. But I do like having a little more choice than that, but not so much that I feel overwhelmed. So, but this feels overwhelming. This feels like too much. The jeans I for sure need to try on. Pants and overalls I for sure need to try on. The sweatshirts, this is actually a really great example of why you, why it's good to do a seasonal wardrobe. So there's too many sweatshirts, but I like them all. And so instead of feeling like, oh, I have too many sweatshirts, it feels overwhelming, I need to get rid of some, you don't. You just sort it into, you know, which ones color-wise or feel-wise, 
are better for spring summer and what are better for fall winter and then it's just I don't have to say goodbye to you I'll just see you in the fall and then in fact in the fall you get even more excited that it's back again so that works really well <laughs> another <laughs> I'm gonna call myself out on this right now I don't remember buying this it's a button-down oversized linen shirt I don't remember buying it <laughs> I think I either thrifted it probably because it's the label I think I thrifted it I was recently thinking I want to find like an oversized linen button down because um, I feel like I could do a bunch of outfits with that for the spring but you already bought it you literally already bought it and forgot that you bought it it speaks to the fact that things can feel new when you just haven't seen them in a while all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of like sort through this a little bit and then we'll go to trying stuff on okay so I'm torn with these two t-shirts because I'm torn of whether I use this one for the sp the spring and this one for the fall because this is more of a fall they're very similar t-shirts they're both like oversized crop B not crop but like um, not super long they, they serve the same purpose I do love them both here's the thing both I'm picturing with like jeans or jean shorts with one of the cardigans because then I can just take it off when it gets a little bit warmer throughout the day and so they really would serve the exact same purpose and so I think I would gravitate to this one more just because well see it's hard I'd gravitate to this one more because it's lighter but this one is a really light linen I think I'm just gonna do this one and this one I can do in the fall for the same reasons because my other t-shirts I would plan on they're more like form-fitting t-shirts so the way that I wear them is just a little different those are two like specifically oversized I style them differently you don't care it doesn't matter um okay so how many t-shirts are we left with then seven eight eight t-shirts and one long sleeve tur shirt <laughs> that feels good sweatshirts uh one two three four that feels good three button downs uh, actually this counts as a long sleeve so two long sleeves t-shirts it's not a t-shirt it's a button down I'd wear it the same way again it doesn't matter <laughs> two button downs one zip up that feels good I've got the pile down to just stuff that I need to try on now um, I'm feeling really good about this and I'm feeling really like revived about my wardrobe again and just feeling like excited to wear the pieces again which is exactly the point I'm gonna need to take a break and um, film this part of the try on in a little bit um, because I have to go pick up my kids from school. BRB. For you, it'll be no time, but for me, BRB. It's the next day. Um, the last thing that I have to do is try on some clothes. I took the kids to a, an event this morning, and then I had a workout with a friend of mine, and then I took the kids to a birthday party this afternoon. <laughs> Dan is driving the kids back. It's actually his friend's kid. Whatever, you don't care. Um, he's driving the kids back to my house, so I've got about 20 minutes. <laughs> to try these on before I have to do bed, bath, and beyond with my kids. See, this is hard for me as a YouTuber. This is where being so tall makes life hard. Because I want to try stuff on where you can see full body, but I don't want to be seven feet away. The funny thing is, is I'm not even that tall. I'm five, eight and a half, which is tall, but it's not like monstrously tall. Is this gonna work? I hope so. And my plan was you could see the back at the same time. We'll see. So what we're not gonna do, <laughs> just like last year when I was trying on some jeans and I had gained weight, and so some of them, like, I, I don't even, I don't remember, but I feel like I couldn't even get some over my thighs. What we're not gonna do is attach value to whether stuff fits or not. This year I have the opposite problem. I have lost a fairly significant amount of weight, and so I'm kinda worried that some of this stuff will be too big this year, but regardless, of how things fit, and this goes for you as well, what we're not gonna do is attach value to whether stuff fits. Clothes are meant to fit our bodies, not the other way around. So just like last year, if any of the stuff doesn't fit, I don't attach any value to it, it's just not this year and you move on. Okay, this is the first piece. So this was new last year and I'm kind of disappointed by this. Um, I really wanted to love it it's by a Canadian female owned business and you guys know I love trying to support small business as much as I can and I love this in theory but um, it wasn't cheap but I had paid extra 
to have it made longer because I have an issue with cropped stuff, which we'll get into. But uh, it was a miscommunication. I thought that I was asking for it to be a full, an extra full length. She thought I still might cropped. Anyway, so to me, they still seem too short. Um, and I also, they're kind of see-through. And so when it's, you know, when you're paying a lot for a pair of linen overalls, I would hope they wouldn't be see-through. Um, and if I, you know, I'd hope they fit how I want them to fit. I'm just not sure. So last year I had pretty much decided that I wasn't keeping these. And on a whim, I wore them to, I don't remember, some like some birthday party or something. And I had like three people compliment me on them. And I was like, oh. So I discussed my issues and everybody was like, no, no, they're cute. Um, and I've seen them on other influencers and I always think they look cute on other ones. So I don't know, is this just something where like in my head, it's like bright lipstick where you just have to get over the mental where you feel a bit ridiculous. And once you embrace that you're a bad bitch who can pull off bright lipstick, you suddenly are. It's totally a mental thing. Or is this just not for me? If it's not for me, what I will do is use it for um, coveralls for West Cottage. Um, so please let me know in the comments because I'm not sure what to do with this. This is a skirt that I thrifted at the end of summer last year. I don't tend to wear dresses in the winter. It's too cold in Canada. But I think it would be a really good transitional piece because it's like, um, it's not wool. <laughs> Couldn't remember the fabric. Um, but it like, it's comfortable, but it looks like wool. So the way I would kind of wear it is super casual. This skirt, but then with like white sneakers and like a t-shirt or even like a sweatshirt that's kind of tucked up into the bra to make it more casual. And I kind of like this. It was $7.99. My original plan was to have it be like a fancier, again, fancier skirt while I'm supply teaching, but I think I can make this look really cool and do some outfits with it. So I think I'm gonna add it into the reg wardrobe. Okay, these leggings will be interesting because <laughs> I got them for free um, with Peloton. Anytime you get someone to sign up using your code, they get 125 off the bike and sometimes it goes up to 250. No, they get 200 off the bike and sometimes it goes up to 250 and you get 150 to spend in the Peloton store. Um, so I got these for free because my neighbor signed up for Peloton and I ordered them and was super excited. But then when they came, they were too tight and felt too much like a scuba suit and they just like felt too compression-y. But that might work this year. I like that they had cell phone pockets on the sides. I also wasn't sure if they were squat proof, which is interesting because Peloton normally makes really high quality stuff. Like their stuff is not cheap in the store, but I have a fleece, which is one of the warmest fleeces that I own. And I also have a tote that I use as my coaching tote. Like I keep my first aid kit and stuff in there. Um, and th their quality is amazing. This seems like it's going to work this year. I don't feel like it's too compression-y. It's definitely more compression-y than aligns. Like it feels more like wonder unders. Um, from Lululemon, but it's very thin. That's the weird thing. I think that's what deceives me. But are they squat proof? I don't know. I'm gonna have to try them on <laughs> with like black underwear and see. If anything, I can like, well, see, I work out in shorts though. I don't know. TBD, TBD. I'm going to put black underwear on off camera um, and squat and see. If they're squat proof, I'll keep them. If they're not, then there's there's no point. This was a new addition last year that I loved. And yeah, I love them again this year. I love that they're full length. They're super comfortable. They're a linen material. They're a smocked front with buttons. Um, this t-shirt goes great with them. I've got a bunch of like graphic tees that I can wear this with. And I like that they're long enough. Part of the problem of being 5'8", and a bit, five, eight and a half, is pants. I have like a 33 inch inseam. Um, and so most of the time, pants don't fit. <laughs> so I ordered these because they said that they were extra long length. And I was like, yes, give me all the length. I know that the cool thing now with the kids is that like your ankle bone is showing, but that's traumatizing. Because for me in high school, before they had various lengths, like I love Old Navy and Gap that they do like a petite, regular, tall version. 
um, that didn't exist when I was in high school. And so pants just never fit me. They were just always too short and I was always self-conscious. And so even though now the world says that this sort of length, like just above the ankle bone, is an acceptable length, in my brain, I, I have a hard time getting out of my head that this doesn't look ridiculous. Um, I just, I like a full length pant, what can I say? Which brings us to this problem. So this is made from the same company as the overalls and same thing, I had asked for them to be, I paid extra for them to be made extra long. I think the problem is I had paid for them to be extra long I had given what my inseam was. She did them longer, but on her website, she says like longer will be two inches longer than standard. And I didn't, I n didn't notice that. So in my mind, I was paying to have them made longer and I gave my inseam. So I thought it would be long enough. So miscommunication, but now here we are. They're like, in my opinion, a hair too short. Like just a hair too short where, cause I want them to sit here. And I do think they're like a flattering trouser. I like them. I don't like that these are also kind of see-through, but I want the length to be there, but I want to be able to wear them here. So I don't know if, if this looks okay and I just need to embrace the shorter length um, where my ankle bones are showing, or if I just need to accept that if I feel like it's too short, I'm just never gonna wear them. I don't know. Help me out in the comments, guys. Help me out in the comments, please. Okay, now we're getting into the jeans that I'm not sure if they're gonna fit or not. These are Annie Bing jeans that I thrifted last year and they fit me like a glove last year. Yeah, they're too big. Could I belt them? These are a good crop for me where this feels like an intentional crop. Like I'm okay with this crop. Um, can I make it work if I have a belt? The thing I don't like about adding a belt is if it puckers too much, it feels uncomfortable. Okay, so if I wear them a little higher and belt it, does that work? Or does it like ruche too much and feel uncomfortable or look silly? What do we think? I feel like it kind of gives me a penis. Not that there's anything wrong with penises. I just don't want to have one personally. Well, the bump's nice, I guess. Ooh. Not bad. <laughs> I don't know, the looser jeans are in. The thing is, kids, if it doesn't feel like loungewear, I'm just never gonna choose it, even if it looks cute. For me, personally, I love when things look cute, but they also have to be comfortable or I just won't wear them. God bless the people who can, for the sake of fashion, make themselves physically uncomfortable for a whole day just to rock the shit out of an outfit. Um, not this this chooses comfort every day. Okay, I'm gonna give myself a month. And if I don't wear them in a month, then they're gonna go in the trunk till next year. These are a gold day jeans that I've had for a few years now. Ripped, decent length. I actually usually wear these cropped and rolled. Like that. They're, they're way too big this year. Uh, okay, let's see the belt situation. No. See the, okay, this actually gives me more information about the Annie Bing though, because the, the Annie Bing ones were giving the like, they're oversized, but they still look good. I feel like I'm just drowning in these this year. Yeah, this is a no. But that, I think that means the Annie Bing is a yes. Remember when I told you that what I like about Gap and Old Navy is that you can get things in petite, regular, and tall? This is why. This is new this year. It's on sale right now. I bought two of the exact same one because I don't know which one I want. So <laughs> this is like the obvious pick for me because they, these are just very me colors and I love the polka dot. It's like a twisted front, pocketed, very comfortable, long enough jumpsuit that also doesn't make you look like a sack of potatoes. Like I still have a figure in this and there's little ties here. When I saw this on their website, I was like, immediately yes, immediately yes. The only thing is, does this color wash? I love, as much as I love the polka dot, I was worried the color was gonna wash me out too much. I love nude and neutral tones, but I have to be careful about which ones I wear because I it, they can wash me out. I think I love this one, but I am gonna try the chambray one on as well. Oh, I don't know what to do. Because this doesn't wash me out as much, I cannot keep both. 
I bought them to decide between the two. Why does this one seem shorter? Is this not one, is this not a tall? Yeah, it's a small tall. This one seems shorter. I know they're adjustable straps, but the crotch seems similar too. Anyway, I, brought the, I bought the chambray in case the polka dot washed me out too much. And it definitely washes me out less, but A, it seems shorter for some reason. And it's not polka dotted, you know what I mean? I think the polka dot's the winner. And also online, the chambray looked more like a light wash denim. This is more of like a true blue, like indigo. And I tend to like lighter washes more. Okay, the polka dot is a yes, this one is a no. We're losing daylight as I speak here. But <laughs> I was gonna finish filming this tomorrow, but A, I work tomorrow, and B, it would mean that the video wouldn't go up on Sunday. And on Instagram, I have been promising you guys. This is the, the latest, um, a pair of jeans that I thrifted as well. The brand is, they're both flipped. <laughs> These would be intentionally cropped. But see, this is the thing. To me, this is an intentional crop. This just looks awkward. Let me know in the comments if you agree. The interesting one with this is it fits me great around the waist, but it's a little tight like through here, which I'm just realizing means the peach is growing. Yes. Uh, but I saw a thing on TikTok where you get the jeans wet and then you like wear them for five minutes. I think it's you get in the shower with the jeans on, then you wear them for a few minutes wet, which will feel disgusting. And then you take them off and let them air dry. And it's supposed to like stretch them like an inch or two here or there to make them feel like customized. So I think I might try that with these and see if I can get the butt to get a little bit bigger. Um, Cause otherwise I really like them and the waist fits great. So to see whether that worked or not, or that process, I'm gonna try it on Instagram and I will do a reel on it and track the progress and like let you guys know if it worked or not. So follow me on Instagram to see whether these are staying in the mix for this year. All right, let me get changed one last time and give you a final overview of my closet. Uh, it's, it's like nighttime now by the time I'm filming and the kids are gonna be home in like two minutes. If you're looking for any tips on how to make your wardrobe look really organized and curated and visually appealing, uh, which to me helps me pick outfits when I feel like my closet is inspiring, uh, group your clothing by like. So I've got my button ups, long sleeve, short sleeve, overalls, dresses and skirts, cardigans but within each type, I color block. So I go from dark to light in each category. It visually tells me when I'm starting a new category easily, but it also gives a lot of continuity with the eye and that doesn't make sense. <laughs> it gives a nice cohesive look to the eye and it helps your eye kind of naturally break apart each section and it makes things look super organized. So this is how everything looks. Again, I'm gonna have to do another video and another um, organization when it comes to being actually like summer and some of this stuff won't work and I'll need to bring in more summer appropriate stuff. But I'm loving how this looks now. I feel revived in my wardrobe. I feel like I have lots of choice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I mentioned on Instagram, but I'm planning a spring clean with me, a, um, dining room refresh, a healthy, how to grow healthy, health, how to grow and maintain healthy hair, a laundry chat. I just kind of got the buzz. Like I haven't wanted to film a YouTube video in a while. And then I just randomly got the buzz of like all these video ideas that I wanted to film and got excited to film. And then funny enough, I got a bunch of DMs from you guys being like, I really miss your video or I don't know what it is, but I've been watching your videos a ton over the last month and I just miss you. So. It seems like the stars are aligned, so hopefully um, once, a, once a week on Sundays for the next month or two, um, there should be content for you because I'm just so excited to film it. <laughs> so, and I have a little more time on my hands now. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.